Uh oh. Oh, she said, do what it do. Cross our fingers and toes. See what it do. Are we official? She would have messed with her phone. Oh, she was there. Live. Oh, we live? We live. Tell her. Oh, okay. Tell the, tell the producer to stop texting Michelle and focus. Focus now. So we live? You live? Yep. Okay. All what right. up, man? Man. Hey, back again. We on we on date. We on second week of fired up for recovery. I'm your host, and that's that's the other host. I'm the Coach Rob, one. Zero Hour Life Center, <laughs> and I'm Coach Phil. Yeah. I am co hey, and I'm the I'm the co-host with the the mostest. I'm the uh. You're the host. Boy, I tell you most. what. I tell you what, boy. Hey, recovery look good on me. <laughs> yeah, looking like looking like senior pictures all over again. Yeah, I'm looking like my 12, 12, 12 grade senior pictures right now. Yeah. Um, and um, nah, but really, man, um, I, you know, I love looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love nah for real, brother, because <laughs> man, oh I look boy. At, I look at that booking picture, boy, I look like yeah. death. You Ooh, know, listen, I got 20 of them. Oh got, wow! And just in Marion County alone. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> oh man, you want to talk about looking rough? Oh my gosh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, see, I I can't pull off a twelfth grade picture anymore. I will say, I think I do resemble, I don't know, a mid thirties Richard Greer. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, that's what I'll go with. Um, nobody can tell me different. That's for sure. Right. Right. But it's the gray, right. you know, that salt and pepper. I got a yeah. rocket. I got a rocket. Yeah. And 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 man, we got the and we got the technology right. So we hey, we we was on time. That yeah. I'm talking about accountability, being being responsible. Yeah, That's what it's about that. in recovery. We are it's, adulting 101 right now. Yes, accountability. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Promptness. <laughs> and we got our accountability producer. Who's going to keep us in check and she's going to smack you in the back of the head if you get out of line. She can't right. reach me, though. You know what I mean? Look, but me. look, but look, man, we need accountability. Absolutely. Every aspect of it. You know? Yeah, we got to have it in every facet of our life, right? Every facet. And it sounds daunting and like, man, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, I, is it worth it? Um, man, like the quote Missy Elliott, if it's worth it, let me work it. You know what I, I hear mean? You. Like, that's Boy, what it's about. Well, you <laughs> took me back on that one. You back to senior year in high school, Rob. Nah, I was, I was, I was, I was, when that song came out, I was, uh, well, I was hitting, a, I was hitting a bag of powder and, and, oh. and trying to, trying to pop, drop and lock it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, now we try to pop and drop anything. We are not getting back up. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, but that accountability is so worth it in our lives now, you know what I mean? Because of all of the great things that happen, you know what right. I mean? Like without that stuff, without having that accountability, uh, I, man, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I'm doing in my life today. You know, <laughs> I mean, I'd be running amok like I used to. And that, that right. man, that stuff is draining. I don't, I, I'm 45 years old. I shouldn't say that on here just in case we got, you know, anybody that's thinking I'm younger than that, that's watching us right now, but I am 45 years old. I feel great. Um, I have, I, you know, I have my life back. I really do. And that's because I put that accountability to work in my life. Um, yeah. and I try to constantly keep it, keep it going. You know, um, we talked about this before, you know, cause of my drug court situation, you know, that accountability was phenomenal to have. Mm. But it does me no good if I get out and I just stop doing all that stuff. If I if I just kind of go back to acting like nothing ever happened uh, and don't hold myself accountable, what good was it? You know, mm. the training wheels had to come off at that point. You know, so now it's all on me. It's right. all on me. And say hello to Jillian. Hey, hey, what's up, Jillian? I see you out there. I got my good eye on you as always. <laughs> yeah, and look at this. Hey, and look at this. Who's creeping in behind me? Come show this sign you made. Oh, I okay. See it. it says, follow okay. your dreams. Follow your dreams. That is a great, that's, that's a great right there. That's, that's what you, that's, that's really a whole mouthful right there. 
Absolutely. Is. And she didn't know anything about what we were just talking about and came up with that damn sign. Mm. What's but that? that but 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 that shows how your recovery is 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 wearing off on everybody that's attached to you. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, is because they seeing you walking the walk, talking the talk, and putting the work into your life. Um, and kids pick up on that. Sure. You know, we in the addiction, we take our kids and our loved ones through a lot of stuff. Yep. They need to be a part of our recovery. Well, That's why good. when I first started doing this, man, and I was doing all my videos back in 2017, I let my son see those YouTubes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, my oldest son, he, look, he probably can tell you more stuff about Zero Life Center than, than, than anybody. Yeah. Because look, he, they involved in it, and we got to include them in it. Why, yeah, are we, why, why are we being so isolated from our family, and we took them through all this? Yeah. They need a man. When you in a group, they need to be right there. Yeah, absolutely. Don't you be hiding. Man, pop a group up right there in the living room while they watching uh, <laughs> Will of Fortune. Pop that laptop Whatever it open. is. Well, yeah. listen, my kids my kids have been to more zero-hour events than some peers. Mm, you know what for I real. Mean? Because it's important for me for them to see what I'm what I'm doing and right and include them instead of trying to in my addiction be like oh let me see if I can if your mom is ready for me to drop y'all off you know because I'm ready to go out and do my thing mm -hmm. um because that's what happened you know what I mean right. now no I want you go out wherever I'm going you're going whatever I'm doing you're doing um mm -hmm. and, and it, you know my son went to school today in his recovery walk t-shirt oh wow that's major in his t-shirt I, I picked him up from school and i said did you wear that shirt at school and he said yeah he said half the day i had my sweatshirt on but then after that yeah i had it and i'm like man i that's awesome yeah like he knows what that shirt is he knows mm -hmm. what it stands for and he's loud and proud to wear it and i asked him yeah. I said, did, did anybody ask you about it and he said, no. Uh, and I said, well, if they would have, what would you have said? And he would have said, this is an event that, that me and my dad went to. You know mm. what I mean? Like, I don't need him to say anything else. Right. Me and my dad went to this event. That made my, man, that made my heart jump right there. Because yeah, you know what, man, and we know what, man, because they got to be involved in our recovery. Our yeah. kids got to be involved because, man, that's, we all know what addiction is. Science say, hey, man, this thing, you know, is, is passed through hereditary genes and all that. And they've been doing study. Right. And so while we at, at like, like my son's 13 and really, you know, he, he hey, dad, he, he asked me, why yeah. are you up here in North Carolina doing this stuff? And I tell him, look, boy, I'm sitting here setting the program. Why are you setting the program up? Because, man, you know, this is what needs to be in this community. And he asked the questions and I yeah. asked him. Yeah, you know, I don't say, you know, you're not, you don't need to know about this. You go play your video games. I want him because maybe a friend may come up to him and say, hey, man, you know, my parents are struggling with this or I'm struggling with this. And he can say, let me call my dad. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I want that. Yeah, absolutely. I want, him, I, I, I want him to know that there's a resource. And that's what they, that's what our youth and our kids should see is, okay, they should be a part of our recovery. They should know, look, dad and mom are doing the right thing. And look, I want to be a part of it. And and and, and if they and let them ask you the questions. Why are you going to that sure. meeting all the time? Say, hey, come on and sit in the meeting. Yeah, Hear about sit it. Sit in with me. Right. Come yeah, sit absolutely. in with it. I we, mean, in my daughter, my daughter, I mean, you, you know, the 13 year old is too busy with the video games. So, I mean, but my son has been, he's he's heard, he's heard some some stuff on meetings. You know what I mean? And my, but my daughter, she's the inquisitive one, right? She wants to, she wants to know, and she'll ask questions mm -hmm. after like, well, dad, like, cause she even, she even said to me, like, once I graduated drug court, right? She said, well, dad, I, I thought you didn't have to do recovery anymore. Right. And I said, oh no. I said, oh no. I said, that was just one little thing I had to go through. I said, but daddy has to do recovery for the rest of his life. Right. Like, I can't there. I said, daddy has to, has to do these meetings. And, um, and she was like, oh, oh, OK. You know what I mean? Like and, it, and I could see the wheels going in her head. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I had to you know, I said I said those meetings, what they do for me is it helps daddy stay grounded. It helps me mm -hmm. stay focused. It helps me stay in 
in my recovery. It helps me stay doing the things that I'm doing. I said, because I can only, prov- I, I can only provide and do things with you by continuing that life. Right. Like if I go, if I, ch- if I stop or slow down all these things that you, we've been able to do since daddy's been back. Right. They, they might go away. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They might not, but they more than likely, if I'm complacent in my recovery, I didn't use complacent, but you know, if, if, if I'm not in it, I'm out of it right? <laughs> and you don't right. want me out of it again. Mm-hmm. You know? But yeah. it's, important. it's so important. And you know, that kind of, it brings up some stuff with me because, you know, society tells us that we should shield our kids from that type of stuff, mm-hmm. shield them from, from all the bad, you know, and as parents, you know, of course you don't want your children to ever experience any of the things that you might have had to go through or others had to go through or any type of hurt or suffering right right but the reality of it is we're doing them such an injustice if we don't talk to them openly about the things that we've been through in our life right 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 i mean why wouldn't i talk to my kids about this stuff i have nothing to be embarrassed about because it's in my past Mm -hmm. it's not right now uh and just in, like you said, you know what I mean? If they meet some, if they run into something, a situation at school or whatever, I want them to be able to come to me and say, hey, dad, this happened, you know, or so-and-so, if my buddy at school is going through this or whatever. I want them to be, I want to, I want them to feel like, like they can come to me with that stuff yes. and have that open dialogue uh, and not, not just kind of throw them to the wolves. Cause you know, when I was 18, I was kind of thrown to the wolves. I didn't know, mm. you know, there was a lot that I didn't know. And right. because my parents, not that my parents sheltered me, but they didn't, everything I did was kind of sneaky. Right, <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like the only thing my parents were like, oh, you can drink at home, right? Mm-hmm. That was it. Um, mm-hmm. But I had to sneak around and learn all these other different things and what was going on. And, and, uh, and I had no, and who am I going to go and talk to about that at 18, 19 years old? Right. Mm-hmm. Nobody not going to my parents about it. You know what I mean? So kind of thrown to the wolves, you know, do your, do your thing. Yeah. Now I'm not going to let my kids go through that. I want them to be able to come to me with all that stuff. Yeah. And, 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 and we got to get away from that. Don't ask, don't tell, you know, yeah, absolutely. we got to get away from that because our kids are learning a lot of stuff and they, they can tell you boy, some of the stuff that, they can come out and tell you, yeah. blow your socks off. Yeah. Because, you know, in these schools, man, these kids are seeing a lot. Mm-hmm. And they need to see some positive stuff. They need to see. And that's what recovery is doing in your life. It's, 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 it's positive. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's positive. It's giving you, it's giving you, or it's giving me the ability to think like an adult, mm-hmm. uh, to think like a, a parent, uh, a son all that stuff you know what i mean where it wasn't always that me 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 that's all i thought about it's all i cared about you know now I, i'm i try to be compassionate in every way of my in every way that i'm living my life you know right and just i feel like it just helps make me a better person right um, you know in a group that six it was so it was so cool because man we had all these positive things happening in, in our peers lives right and mm. then, you know phase ups and drug court getting they're about to get their license back um all sorts of these different things and it just so happened the topic of the meeting are are making the most of my strengths right so i was right. going around having everybody give their strengths mm. and uh man you want to talk about a different tone of people talking about themselves in a positive light you know because a lot of times you know and i know some of these some of our meetings because of topics or whatever it brings up character defects. It brings right. up, you know, all the bad things that, that you're trying to fix. Like, no, this one was about what, ha- what are your strengths right now? What's changing mm. in your life positively, you know? And man, it was just phenomenal to hear some of their answers. Like it, it just really, it was humbling because I've been in their shoes. You know, I've been right where they are. I've been right. new in it and not, didn't think that I had any, any strengths. Um, but man, they were coming off with, well, they were coming off with stuff left and right. And I didn't even mm-hmm. have to give them the cheat codes. <laughs> right. You know, and, I had a and, whole and, list. And then two is, I'd rather see, I'd rather my son see this picture and see me yeah. than to see me 
in a in a booking photo. You yeah. know, yeah. that's 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 right there. It's powerful, and that's and and that's what you got to hold on to is things that look. You know, everything you're doing now is gonna be positive. Right. Everything, everything, everything from that day you decided to say I'm done, and however uh-huh. you met it. I don't, you know, some people met it in jail. Some people met it in a church. Some people met it in a treatment facility. From that day on, it is nothing but positive. Yep. And you got to hold on to that. You got to say, look, I'm doing some, I'm doing good stuff. You yeah, know, absolutely. I ain't where I want to be right now, but I, but I'm so far from where I came from and yeah. it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Yeah, and, absolutely. And that's the key to it too, is like you said, it's going to get better. Yes. Like, that we have to get rid of that mentality of that instant gratification because, mm. because it's nothing but a setup, right? But nothing but a setup. It, it takes work and time. It takes work and time. And it's yeah. oh, we got a bunch of comments too. Oh, All right, let's, go, Mary. let's go. Let's go. So Jillian's got a couple in here when you guys are talking about the the your children and families and stuff. She says, I believe our children should have knowledge about addiction and recovery so they have some good stuff in their arsenal when or if the time comes right she says she grew up in grew up with parents who were addicts and she thought it was okay like it was normal mm. um and she also says she loved the six o'clock meeting tonight philip okay good uh, Chantel yeah. says our addiction affects our family so our recovery better too yeah absolutely uh, great- says so many great points michelle says her favorite aunt and uncle i guess we're um in addiction as well right um i think that's everybody good yeah and 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 yeah, it, it it our recovery needs to work on our families. Mm-hmm. I can say my whole family, they in my recovery. Boy, they yeah. stay on me. Mm-hmm. They be on my hind legs. Absolutely. And at first, I'm like, man, why are you calling me and I'm leaving work? But now I let them embrace it. You know, I had I had, I had a sister. My sister never saw this person, and I was home, and we was going, and we was home, and we was home for, and we thought my mom was was. Was going on to glory, <laughs> but right. but she's still with us, and and my sister got got a chance to see this person, and she just started crying, yeah. and she was like she's like I, I I don't know this person, and I'm thinking to myself like man I love this guy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. hold on this brother, and really man because you know and I and I really didn't and 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 after that I really just sat down and I really had that time to myself and I was driving we were driving back from South Carolina back to Florida and I had I had my little conversation with myself and I was sitting there saying boy I'm proud of you I was telling myself I'm proud of you yeah you know I'm proud of you for getting up every day doing what's right and you got to have that conversation with yourself sure. you got man you got to be your own cheerleader yeah absolutely. you if you waiting for people to pump you up in this walk you got to be happen. your own cheerleader. You got to be your own. Get you some cake and bake you a cake. Put a put a put a candle on it and light you up. Get you some some Snicker ice cream. Yeah. Have your own party and yeah, celebrate absolutely. yourself because man, you know. Yeah, that's what I, we, I told somebody in the group tonight that they you know they, their their fiance was next to him and was like, no, tell him, tell him what happened. You know what I mean? And, and I said, and I and I told her, I said, don't ever, don't ever pass up the opportunity to let it be known that you feel like you're doing good. Don't think of it mm-hmm. as gloating or anything like that, but you've got to, you've got to be able to give yourself a compliment and you're telling you, you, you're speaking it out loud that, that mm-hmm. you're, you're doing good right now, that good things are happening and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? Right. As long as you're not doing it in a malicious way, or you're trying to be spiteful about it or rub it in somebody's face, if you're just doing it for you, you know what I mean? Just to acknowledge that, hey, I, I'm doing this thing. Man, you got to speak it out loud because, you, man, I, I know because me and you have to say that we've had this conversation about talking to ourselves, right? And <laughs> and I have to do it all the time. I, they look at me like I'm crazy at work some days. like, And I'm, like, cause I'm back there talking like something goes through my head and I have to, I kind of have to talk it out loud. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. you know, like, Bill, who are you talking to? I, me, I'm just talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I kind of wanted to hit back on what Chantel said, like you were talking about, man. Like that was a heavy, that was a heavy comment that she made, you know. And and it works so crazy because now like my, my family, I've got three families, right? I've got my family family, I've got my recovery family, yeah. now I've got my work family, right? Mm. And my work family 
is crazy because they're so they're involved they're invested in my recovery now you know what i mean they're asking me questions about hey well what's going on like they they know when my meetings are how'd your meeting go last night wow. oh you know uh the four you know having to go there on mondays uh, and have the alumni meeting they're like oh are you doing that tonight like what's going on like mm. they're invested in what i'm doing and that's such a great feeling because we even have conversations now at work that are around recovery and character defects like just randomly you know what i mean and then we cut up and stuff too um but it's it's just amazing it's amazing how that works and the reason why is this addiction affected a lot of people right and people people want to see you succeed yeah more than you think it people really 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 want to know about you and about your recovery and they want to know because a lot of people seen a lot of sadness yeah, a lot, lot of, of man a lot of, crap. A lot of a stuff to say it too. a lot of stuff yeah. and when they when they finally get a get a taste of okay this person different i remember when i i remember i, I remember the old guy but man there's something different about this guy and i want to know yeah. and let them know yeah absolutely let them in let them yeah in. It's, and it's important too because there's no way they can know where you're going if right. you don't let them in you know what mm -hmm. i mean if i if i listen you want to talk to me about character defects and what's going on in my recovery life man i'm all for it like mm -hmm. I, you know i'm i'm talking out loud as i want everybody to hear um and it's amazing you know what i mean and then it, the flip side to that is too is i know there's other issues lingering with some of them maybe yeah. not them personally but mm -hmm. some things that are that are affecting them in some way in their life because some of the questions i know there's something going on yeah. you know and it's kind of not like they're asking for help but they're asking for help and they don't realize it you know and mm. that's a whole nother level of uh hump humility for me yeah. um because i wasn't i've never been that guy um mm. I've always been considered the, the jerk. You know what I mean? Like, don't go to him because he's going to say he's going to pick on you or he's going to say something mean or you know what I mean? Like that's and that's just my sarcastic nature. Right. But now I have people that talk to me about real life issues that, mm. you know, things that are going on or they're just they're curious about or how it affects me or so many numerous things. And that's a that's a humbling, humbling thing you know um to finally be that guy like yeah. that people you feel like people can confide in you you know um and that's and 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 that's what i call being available yeah you got to be available you got to be available cuz you never know when somebody going to pull on you pull on you pull on your shirt and say hey yep. i need your help yep and absolutely. i got so and so or so and so in my family is, is 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 battling you know I know, I know you're doing this recovery thing, you know, can you help me? Yeah. And that man, that right there, when you get that, that's going to knock your socks off because you yeah, know, absolutely. oh man. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's, that's funny because I, I had that phone call today at work um, just from someone randomly, uh, an old friend of mine. And um, they were just like, man, I'm just having some issues and I'm, I need some support from somewhere where, you know, not a and it wasn't it's not even an, a, an addiction thing it's just a, a been unhappy and miserable in their life and what can i do to change it all? Mm. and um like i was kind of you know, again uh, kind of just humbled like that you called me <laughs> you called me uh, right. i mean wow that's putting a lot of trust and vulnerability um into somebody that you probably thought was a scumbag two years ago um that's a pretty big deal for me you know mm -hmm. so. and that lets you know that you're doing something right yeah absolutely and and, and that's and that often that's that often, pat on the back from others yeah that you have yeah. it's nice to get you know i don't need mm -hmm. it i don't need a pat on the back from anybody else because i i know what i'm doing in my life but it is it isn't a lot to you it is a nice it's a great feeling <laughs> mm -hmm. you got another comment for us 
Yeah, I have a question. A question. And, um, say hello to Jeff, to Anna, to Michelle, to okay. Chantel. I don't think I got her in the last round. Okay. How y'all doing? What's up? Um, Fired up for recovery. What's popping? <laughs> All right, so Anna has a question. If someone has a hard time identifying their own strengths, what would you recommend to help them identify these? That's mm. a great question. That mm. is a great question. Mm. You want to start? Go ahead. I'm a, I'm a, I'm 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 thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna, Go ahead. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal probably something that you're you were gonna say. I ain't gonna lie to you, but that self affirmation. Um, mm. You sometimes we have to remind ourselves how what what our strengths are, and if that's by leaving yourself notes, if that's by journaling and writing it down, pen to paper, um, yelling it out loud. Um, sometimes we might not; other people might not see our strengths yet. You know what I mean? We might not be at that point, um, or they might be afraid because they don't want to tell you, and you get big headed or complacent, or you know what I mean, like. Um, but so you have to do it for yourself. You have to, you have to be confident in you in your right. own skin and know your potential because everyone out there has got it in them. They've yes. got, they've got that, that greatness gene, whatever it might be. Uh, you're great in, in, in that way. And, and everybody is great, you know, in their own different way. And the potentials are unlimited. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You just have to give yourself a little bit of a break and know that you're worth it and you deserve it. You deserve all the good things that are out there that you can get. And mm. once you start to, once you start to constantly every morning, look up at a sticky note that says you're awesome, you're worth it. You start to feel that like it sticks, Yeah. you know? And sometimes, like I said, people might not tell you that. I'm going to tell you, you I'm going to tell you a little, I'm gonna tell you a little secret what I was doing in, in 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 early recovery is, you know, and when I'm with someone and I'm working with them and and I give them yellow stickies, I say, here, take this. I want you to go home and this is your homework assignment. I want you to put on your bathroom mirror beside the bathroom mirror by the wall, and I want you. I still got them on my on my bathroom wall from seven from six years ago, and they still up there. I was some pride. They, I was looking at there the other night. I'm like, y'all still up here? Do y'all ain't fall down? That's some good but, sticky. But <laughs> but I put affirmations up there. I am powerful. I am, you know, I just went in. And I looked at them all. I looked at them two times a day in the morning and the afternoon. And it was it was something that I had to do because I was mad at that guy. I was mad at that guy for, you know, all the stuff that I did. And, and, and you know, the battle was within me and yeah. out of recovery. And I had to be comfortable in me and comfortable in my skin to further my recovery. And, you know, it wasn't what it, and it always wasn't what people said about me. It was what I said about myself oh, and how yeah. I felt about myself. And we are so, you know, we all got secrets and stuff that we're not proud of. And, 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 and we'll probably take them to our grave, but it's, it's fine. Everybody got that, you know, right. but this person I am now, it took me a lot of, self-affirmation it took me a lot of affirmation a lot of people when i'm riding alone i'm sitting here empowering myself I'm sitting telling myself you can do this you you are a person in long-term recovery you got to believe it you got to see it you got to feel it you got to know you can do this you know i could tell people tell me all oh, that you're doing fine but if i don't believe it it doesn't matter it's no good and, yes. and it's no good and our biggest enemies is is is, is within in within yep. me that's our biggest enemy and you know I'm putting them affirmations. I'm powerful. I'm this. I, I'm worthy. I'm, you know, I just went in and, you know, looking at that, getting in the subconscious and really knowing, hey, you know, this is okay. Yeah. I'm doing it. And next thing you know, it's going to, then those stress going to start pouring out on other people. Other people yeah. start seeing your worth. First thing you got to know what your worth is. Yeah. You have to know what your worth is. Yeah. Cause nobody else is going to see it if you can't see it. Right. And you got to be, and you got to know you're worthy. You know, you know, you, you know got to be, too? you know, what? Too? take it easy yes. on yourself. Mm -hmm. Stop beating yourself up. It, it, it's, it's not, it's progress, not perfection. Oh yeah. Right? It's that it's, it's that plain and simple. It's not going to happen overnight. 
it's not going to be perfect. Give yourself a break. Mm -hmm. Stop beating yourself up over yes. trivial, trivial stuff because you deserve so much more than that. And you, and we're all better than that. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. it's hard. I, I get it. It's, man, that's probably one of the, one of the most hardest things to do is not beat yourself up over, especially the stuff you did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when, when you're the one that, when you're the problem, uh, it, it becomes difficult. Like it's, it's, it's tough to do this stuff. It's tough to can try to make these affirmations stick, but it, mm -hmm. it's consistency. It's progress, not perfection. Yeah. And, 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 and I, I knew what I'll say about it. I knew, I knew I was a good dad. I knew I was a good brother. I knew I was a good son, but I had to pour that. I had to get that out of me. Right. I had to, I had to get it out. I had to, I had to, I had to make myself understand that and know it. I'm going to know before someone tell me, you know, yeah. and, and, and that's the best way is you got to know it. Right. You got to know it. And, and you know what, for, for me, Rob, in my, in my addiction, I always wanted some, I, I always relied on other people to tell me, oh, you know, everything's going to be okay. Every, you know what I mean? Like, because I didn't trust myself enough in my addicted and when I was in my addiction, let mm. alone was I able to even try to talk myself into you're worth it, you're you're strong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so it, it was the total 180 flip where I when I once I got into recovery, I had to learn and teach myself real quick that if I'm sitting around here waiting for somebody else to tell mm. me. I'm worth it and I'm doing a good job, I'm doomed. I'm doomed because it's not going to happen because they right. still, they, because of the traumas that I created for them because of my behavior, they might not be ready to tell me I'm doing a good job yet. Yeah. Or they they don't want to tell me any way they might see that I'm doing good, but they don't want to say it to jinx it or hope that, you know, I take it the wrong way or whatever. So I have to rely on myself and know that nobody else is going to do it for me. You know, nobody mm -hmm. else is going to tell me that stuff right away. Now, now I'm close to, you know, 17th. That's another, another notch in the belt. You know what I mean? Like now I'm getting to that point in my recovery where it's noticeable. You know what I mean? And I take what's be, if somebody gives me a compliment, I know it's genuine because of the things that I do in my life, you know, and I don't expect it. Um, I take it with gratitude and just keep it moving. You know what I mean? And right. And, and, and what I've been doing in, and I, and I challenged everyone, uh, I challenged the peers to do this too. What I've been doing for the last, uh, starting on Monday is at the end of my evening, before I go to bed, I write my five gratitude, what I'm, what, what I'm, what I'm grateful for. And really putting it on paper, putting put, putting on pen to paper and seeing what you're grateful for is when you're grateful for little, when when much come, you, you're gonna it, it's gonna be oh wow, you know. And I don't be shy. I'm grateful for little things. <laughs> I'm grateful yeah. for, you know, I said breath. I'm grateful yeah, for, you know, I'm grateful for staff. I'm grateful for stuff that, you know, I don't, I I I don't want to take for granted because, you know, when I was in that addiction, I didn't have none of that. You know, right. it was all ripping and running and, 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 and trying to duck and hide and, and all that. And now, you know, I'm at the end of the day, I'm really honed in on that and, and, and let my mind know, look, you know, I'm a hey, brother, you, you came a long way, you know, don't forget the, don't forget the small stuff. And, and, and that's why I want to tell people, really, it's the small things. Mm -hmm. It's the small things. It's the small things that I don't want us to take for granted. You know, grateful for that first meeting I went to. Right. Grateful for, the, for, grateful for those people that I met in that first meeting. And, and, and you know, that's why I like when newcomers come. And I, I keep saying I like when newcomers come and I, and, 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 I, and I see that. I see that glow in their eyes and that hunger. And it teaches, it, it gives me something. But, man, you know, that was you. Yeah, that was you. And, you know, and being humble. Absolutely. 
humbleness. You know, what, it was funny what you said about the 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 small things, right? I would rather have a hundred things that were so tiny to be grateful for than one big thing that might take me years to get to it to be grateful for if that makes sense i'd rather take all those small ones and be able to have them all the time than something that's unattainable for a little while you know what i mean mm. like oh i'll be grateful when i i get my license back you know what i mean like no I, i'm grateful for the bike i got in the garage you know what i mean i don't need to be grateful right. for, for something down the road um and that's important to me you know what i mean like that i, I think that was the foundation you know you guys, these meetings here with Zero Hour are the first time that I've ever really done gratitude, you know, in a meeting or anything like that, you know, so, I, you know, we've had the conversation on, on different meetings about, you know, like getting out of jail, right, and you're grateful, like, you don't realize how grateful you are for a hot shower that lasts longer than 10 minutes, a mm. pillow, right. uh, toilet paper that doesn't feel like sandpaper, um, <laughs> a full-size bar of soap. Um, right, right. Shampoo that works. The list can go on and on and on, right? I would rather have all of those little ones instead of that one unattainable big one or it's attainable in five years from now, you know? Um, that's what keeps me humbled and grounded every day. You know, that's appreciation awesome. is key. And it's, yes. it, and it's hard. Listen, there's days I don't want to be grateful. I'm in a bad mood. But at the end of the day, when I finally put my head on that pillow, if I don't do my own self-gratitude list right. in, in my routine before I go to bed, um, I wake up feeling different. You know what I mean? Because I mean, you know how it is. Sometimes you pass out. Oh, man, I have a routine every night that I do. I have a little journal and I, I, I put some, jot some things down and I put some gratitude in there. You know, mm -hmm. and if, when I don't do it that next morning, I just feel something doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I have, that's why I make sure now I, I don't miss a day because it changes how I feel <laughs> like literally. And, uh, and I don't like it. I don't like that feeling, you know, I want to continue and, and, and to then, be humble and gratitude. And then too, what works for me is, you know, and I love this. I love this because um, a lot of people get into getting the, getting the, getting the eavesdrop on what we're doing in our, our recovery and why we're so fired up about it. So I love this, but you know, by the time I leave my house and get to the job, I am fired up because right. I am putting up with positivity in my head. I'd be, I'm talking about from man, from Tony Robbins on down to TD Jakes to down to boy, I'm telling you hey, who it is. It's going in. And by so by the time I get to, by the time I get there because I know life is out there, and yeah. I got to make sure this is a this is ready. And what I what I what I've have known that that has helped me in my recovery. That has really helped me in my recovery, and I started to know that there was a sense of peace. And I picked up on it. I was sitting there one day, and I was like, "Man, this is strange. <laughs> I'm at peace." Right. And I'm just sitting, I'm like, peace. And I'm talking about, they, man, I'm talking about people can go on, people can have a problem. I'm sitting, I'm like, man, I'm just in my, I'm grounded. Right. I'm grounded. I'm element. sitting up there. Right. And because, and because I pump myself up, I don't have time for the negativity. I don't. And I'm not going to allow it. And that's a boundary that I did. You know, I, 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 because being what, what I do is, you know, I do recovery 24 seven. Sure. I do it 24 seven. So I got stuff coming at me. And so mine is first. Right. It has to be. And, and before I didn't know that early on, I didn't know that no one taught me that. And I said, man, I really, man, my mentor really, really, really poured into me and told me, brother, you got to get you a foundation. Sure. You got to make sure you straight. And so, and you got to do these measures and you got to do whatever you got to do, you, whatever it takes. Okay. Whatever it takes for you to, be able to stand and forever to do this because life is going to throw stuff at you all the time it, it, it's, it's going to life is going to be life um and so 
Hey, uh, and one day, one day it might be like one person's throwing something at you, and the next day it'd be like a pitching machine just constantly. Yes. Throwing <laughs> something at you, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Oh, and we got some more comments. I love okay. the comments. I really do appreciate it. Send them on. Send them on. Um, so the first thing I had done, you were talking about positive affirmations. I asked the viewers, you know, what positive affirmations do you tell yourself? Mm -hmm. And so Jeff says the key for me is working with others. Um, Anna says I'm loved and I'm worthy. Right which is Absolutely. i think so important knowing your value yeah knowing your value so, so important. yes it's very important Chantel says i'm strong and i'm needed yes yes she is um, Chantel says we can't pour from an empty cup with what the last little bit you guys were talking about and jeff says and i think this is an interesting thing to, to discuss maybe is the tough part of being grateful is when the tough part of being grateful is when things aren't going right in my life it's easy being grateful when things are good and then too, that's why gratitude when you're not when things are not going well. Is and hard. and and so that's why writing down five things you're grateful for, yep, is so important because when things ain't going right, you can pull out that journal, you can pull out that notebook, and you can look at mm. what you have. Yeah. yeah, and that can get you back, and that can be. I like saying pulling trophies off off your yeah. off your imaginary bookshelf. Absolutely. And, when life is throwing that curveball, you got to dig dig back and grab one of those trophies and say, look, <laughs> I just finished drug court and that was tough and I can do this and I can yeah. get through this. And really, because you got to pump yourself up. You got to really, really pump codes. yourself up and get yourself. The you yes. know what I mean? You, you know, you know, the answers, you know what I mean? Like we all do, you know what I mean? But sometimes you got to go back into that. You got to go back into the cheat codes and see what got you through right. another day before, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that because mm -hmm. everybody has bad days, Yes, everybody. And like I said, mm -hmm. for me, if I if I have a bad day and and I don't do my, my journaling at night, I feel different the next day. It, it, it's, a, it's a different type of feeling, you know what I mean? Like, um, because it's like a, I don't I don't want to say let like I let myself down, but I, it's become such a helpful tool for me that mm -hmm. I almost like it, it's I don't know. It's like it, a little piece of me is missing. Um, so I'll make it a point to, to, to do it that morning, do it right then and there. You know, mm -hmm. what I mean? whenever that the thought hits me, um, because the hardest part of being grateful is when you don't want to be. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's yeah. no way around that. Like when when things are going completely off the rails and you don't know what you're going to do and whatever the case may be, you know, that's really when all of the stuff that you've learned in your recovery starts to be prevalent. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to start playing that tape all the way through on what's got you to this point and find just that little fragment of something to hold on to and say, you know what, I'm grateful for this right now, be it whatever, be it a text from somebody, be it uh, that sweet tea from Zaxby's, whatever, it's got to start wherever it starts. To me, it doesn't matter. As long as it's something, you know, you find something to start that ball rolling. Because once you start thinking about it, once you start getting yourself in that mind frame of what can I be great? What am I grateful for? Mm -hmm. Everything's going wrong. What, what do I have to be grateful for? Oh, I just breathed. Right. <laughs> oh, I just took a breath. Like, oh, I'm crying. Oh, I, oh, I have emotions now. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not dead and I'm not dead inside. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't I can feel things like it, 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 and what so many things. And what helped me with this is that I heard a great thing and someone said this and I was something I would listen to on YouTube and the guy said, you know what, go in the mall. All those people that walk past you, they got something going on with them. You mm -hmm. ain't the only one. No. Everyone got something going on. And man, when I heard that, it really made me understand that I got to stop beating myself up. I really got to, I'm, I'm, I'm really so hard on myself that you know, I'm not the only one. 
Right. And you know, I did that one day. I went to a, I went to the mall. And I just walked past people, and I was like, hmm, "You got something going on with you too. You you you're you're masking it." And today, I don't have to mask it no more. Right. I don't have to right. mask it no more. I call that I, the, let, I call that the Bruce Almighty. Right. But <laughs> remember when remember when he got to be God? Yeah. And mm-hmm. all those messages started pouring in, and all you know what I mean, like, and it was easy just to hit reply all. Instead of hearing everything, yeah, that's what it is for me. You know what I mean? Like that's that's how I I view it. You know what I mean? Like oh shoot, you know what? My my problem might not be anything compared to what that person's praying for right now. Um, yeah. And but and but and what I learned too is I have people. I got good people in my life, mm-hmm. and you know, and that showed me something when you know my mom got sick and, you know, everybody poured out to me and really, you know, I tell this story all the time, man, I had a first thought wrong, you know, I had a first thought wrong and, and really, and my first thought was trying to go back to what's familiar. And, you know, I'm very transparent because that's the only way that you, that people understand I'm very transparent, you know, and, you know, I thought about it, but when I thought about it, I got a text and when I got another text, Hey, brother, man, we poor, man, we helping, man, we appreciate you, man, you know, we, we down for you, man, we, 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 hey, we praying for you and all that, and that made me say, okay, no, <laughs> you yeah. go up there, do what you got to do, bring your behind back to Florida, and really, and that's, and, and, and the thing I'm saying is, you know, it's not that we want to be in your business, no, right. but I care for you. And that's the hardest thing for us in recovery sometimes is letting people in and let people yeah. let people care for you. Because before the addiction, you might not have that. You might have had nobody that loved on you. You might have had nobody that cared for you. And then in addiction, you know what that life was. And then now you're trying to do this life, this, this, this road to recovery. And you got all these people with all these happy feelings. And, and sometimes it's sometimes it's strange to some people. Yeah. sometimes it's strange to let people in and i i had walls up you know i came from military i came from america we had to put walls up yeah i'm not telling you what was going on with me you get away from me and i'm gonna be this person and it was hard for me and really you know having having good people around you right i'll tell people man man i'm feeling i ain't, I ain't feeling it today you know i let them know i ain't feeling it if i don't let you all know i let my family know i ain't feeling it today Right. Um, I'm, 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 and my family chore checked me, boy, you, are you getting overwhelmed? <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. Hey, hey I, I, and I'm sorry to stop you, but didn't, didn't you guys, when, when everything, when that happened with your mom, didn't you guys come in Bagelicious that morning and get sausage, yes. egg and cheese? Sure did. <laughs> yeah. I was mad as hell later on that afternoon at you when I found out why you were leaving, I was like, man, I would have hugged that dude's neck, man. And told him that, you know, so I, mean, I talked to y'all anyways, but I was just like, man, I would have gave him a big ass hug before he went to North Carolina and told him I was here for him. But you and know I, something, but, man. but you know something we, and we kept on the routine and yeah. sometimes, sometimes when life throw that curveball, our, 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 our first reaction is to react, you right. know, or and, overreact. And, and overreact but then you know by the time i was leaving work man i had a time to myself i cut the music down and i really i really went in i yeah. really went in i said no i said no i'm not another i went in and really that's something i had to do mm-hmm. i had to do that because i was telling this i was telling this you can make it yeah. whatever happens you get down there is 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 not what what i'm expecting and maybe something different i know my recovery is first yeah, because by me, by by me going backwards, it's not going to help anything. That's not yeah. the answer now. Wouldn't and change anything either. It ain't going to change nothing. No, nope. except it, for <laughs> tearing some stuff down. But that yeah. what what you were what you originally your thought was for the numbing, uh, it wouldn't change that whole situation you know what i mean but everything that you had worked for it would change all that real quick yeah then man then we got stuck in traffic i was like man what in the world we sitting in traffic about an hour i was like hey I, and then phil keeps calling about planning this damn thanksgiving dinner i don't give a damn about <laughs> no thanksgiving dinner right <laughs> right 
All right, we got a couple more comments. I'm loving this. Fire up for recovery. Make sure uh, during the weekday, you, uh, I want to know, I want this. This is a movement. I want you to understand this is a movement. We're getting T-shirts made, fired up for recovery. I want you to be wearing this. I want you to get fired up about your recovery. That's why we're doing this. I'm fired up. Monday through Friday. <laughs> Monday yeah. through seven Monday days through a week. Sunday. Seven days a week. I don't turn it off. Mm -hmm. I don't turn it up. I'm getting turned up about my recovery. I used yeah, to get absolutely. turned up. And when I used to be back in them streets and turn up, turn up, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm turning up for my recovery. And I want you to get this way. I really do. And that's why we're really, really, really doing this. And I want you to, sooner or later, I want 10 people on here with us. We all talking. Because Thanks. really, 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 you know, and I'm going to say this, me and Philip, and before we got on there, we was we were reading an article that mm. they're doing a study. That they're projecting 1.2 million or 1.9 million people are gonna die from an overdose by 2029. And I got the article. If you want it, you holler at me. I got the article and they did a research on this. That 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 hurt, that did something to me. Yeah. You no, know, they're projecting 1.9 million people are gonna die by 2029. Okay. So you know what? You know what's powerful about that, though, Rob, is as long as we're doing, as long as we stay fired up for our recovery, we don't have to be included in that 1.9 million. Yes, yes. But we have to do our part to try to lower that number. Yes. You know what I mean? I, by, by doing this, by recovering out loud, yes, we might be able to change that statistic at least yes. a little bit. Yeah, and... And me, you, and some more, you know, uh, really, really, you know, that's why I said when I do the little, little snippet videos during the week and, and really I'm doing that to keep you fired up. I'm doing that to let you know that, look, and my candle's burning. <laughs> I'm 400 degrees. <laughs> I'm 400 I'm, degrees. And really because, you I'm know. I'm surprised Mary, I'm surprised Mary hadn't smacked you with a ruler. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. Hey, Hey, you said Mary said, "Hey, you got comments," and, and you went off. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, All right, know. read the comments, Miss okay, Mary. So, um, you were talking about the gratitude list and the journaling and that stuff. Jeff says, "If if I go to bed with a clean and clear mind, clean up my trash for the day. If I don't, I'll wake up with yesterday's problems." Mm. And I think yeah. that's great. And Chantel says, "I need this tonight more than you know. I have something going on, but you know what? I still wouldn't have traded places with the girl detoxing in my passenger seat yesterday. Someone is always, mm. someone always has it worse somewhere. God always finds a way to remind me of that." Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And you know something. And Michelle says, "Not if we can help it." I think that was what you were just last talking about there. Yes, and and Chantel, you made a great point there. Really, someone. Right now, as we having this fire for recovery live, somebody right now is in their addiction. Mm -hmm. Someone right now is overdosing. Someone right now is trying to find help. And you know something? Somebody may stumble upon this mm -hmm. in their feed, and they may see these two guys are sitting on here just talking about extremely handsome guys. Extremely yeah, handsome. Yeah, one, guys, one look like Denzel. Right. A little the other bit one's of, a young Richard Greer. One look like Denzel with a little bit of Wesley Snipes in them. <laughs> without so, the tax fraud though not that right nice. yeah without all the tax fraud but you know yeah. in a good wesley snipe and 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 shout out to shout out to my barber he's a person in he's a he's a person in recovery that cut me up you know that's what i'm saying is you know and it was just so good to sit in his chair and you know have that conversation and for him to give me a haircut and 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 it was a peer you know right and that, and, and really, you know, and, and just, just, and man, look at recovery, you know, yeah. and, and the boy's talented. The boy is talented. Well, I'm really talented. And, you know, we are talented people. <laughs> you, well, that's, have, that's what we were talking about today about, you know, my tattoo on Saturday, you know, sitting in that guy's chair and within five minutes, we were in it about recovery and finding out he was in recovery and just all the whole hour and a half. That's all we talked about was recovery and how he, and he was, I gave him information about, you know, getting with the C car training and he, you know, it was just an amazing experience. And like you said, the talent, the talent alone 
is it's unparalleled. You know what I mean? If we just get out of our damn way, mm. whew, it's endless. It's endless, right. you know? Right. And I tell you, and I want to say something to Chantel because, man, that's my buddy. That Chantel, me and Chantel have formed this, this friendship that will be forever. And, um, and I just love being able to work next side by side with her because um, she's humble and she is such a great mother and strong woman. Like hearing her story on that one meeting and then getting to know her is just probably one of the, one of the highlights of at least my year so far. Uh, and I'm so glad that she is in my life and that we're working together in this alumni program. I couldn't ask for you pairing us up any better. Mm -hmm. And you know something about that too. You hang along and you hang around a barbershop long enough. You can get a haircut. Yeah. Um, I don't know how she, she just, she just, she just stopped popping up. She was just like, she was like, uh, she's popped up. <laughs> she's popped up. I didn't re recovery walk. She popped up. The next thing you know, I seen her yeah. at recovery fest. She popped up again. And they know she was in my, she was in, she was in the recovery center. I said, well, goodness gracious, you just yeah. show up. <laughs> but you know, something is we have some great peers. We really right. do. All those peers in, in, in the recovery community are, are, you know, y'all are some awesome people. And every day I sit back and I really say this, that, you know, I'm so grateful to be where I'm at in my chair, to sit there and have front row and see you all change in your life. Right. You know, I know y'all don't hear it a lot. And I'm going to say, it, I'm going to let the world know y'all are doing y'all thing. Y'all mm -hmm. are doing it. And I want you to know that really. And I want you to, I want you to, I want you to keep doing it. I want you to keep doing it. And you are really, really making an impact in your community. You are. And man, and everywhere I get out, I really talk about y'all. You know, mm -hmm. I do. I was, yeah. I, I was sitting there with a lady this evening, you know, somebody from the state. And I was sitting there telling her about these peers. I was sitting there telling her about the recovery community. And and that's what we need to do as leaders. It's not about Rob. It's about my right. folks. It's about yeah, my people. Absolutely. It's about those peers. It's about those people that nobody hear about. And those voices that are not being heard, you know. And I have a loud voice. And but and voices that have been silenced. And some voices that have been silent. And yeah. like Mary's right, y'all. Some of y'all voices have been silent about some of the stuff that happened to you. But I'm letting you know. I'm, I'm empowering you tonight. I'm letting you know, let your voice be heard. Yeah. And you got, you, you got, you can, we can stand tall together and we can let our voice be heard. And we're not, we're not hiding in the shadows no more. Yeah. We're not hiding, hiding in the shadows. We're going to get out there and we're going to let our voice heard because you know something, that person that we took the detox yesterday, she knew where to call. Mm -hmm. And she called yeah. me. She said, I'm ready. I said, look, you ready this time? She said, I'm ready. I already called, already called at Meridian. They already got a bed for me. I said, we're coming to get you. It ain't, it ain't, you know, she did a leg work and she knew it was time. We got her up there. Yeah. And we, and we waited, waited until she got in the door and she got in the door and, you know, let the, let, let the chips fall where they fall. And I told her, I said, I said, look, and she checked me too. I said, what's your plan when you get out of there? She said, I ain't looking at that right now. I just want to get inside the building. I said, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, well, look, go ahead in the building. But, and that's what it is, man. As leaders, we're planting seeds. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I got I to gotta talk to my leaders because I know I got some leaders looking at this. We're just planting seeds. We all planting seeds. And watch those seeds grow. Watch them grow. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing to, you know, just from you know, starting out with, you know, facilitating one meeting a week or, you know, what was, I think I was, me and you were rotating Fridays and um, some of the people or a good amount of the peers to hear them talk now mm -hmm. compared to being pretty much mute or on mute a whole meeting uh, until gratitude and grateful uh, for my family and my friends and yeah, bye. You know what I mean? Like, like nothing. Right. But to hear them talk now and to see the growth in them. Right. And to hear just to hear it like it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And we've got some ridiculously talented and smart 
peers. I mean, of course, everywhere, but in our groups, man, I, I'm gonna. We got some ridiculously smart and talented people. Yeah, we do. We do. Their potential is endless. Some of them, as soon as they see it, it's on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know I see it in some of them. It's just now a matter of them catching up to what I see. Um, but, you know, I, it, there's going to be some great things happening around here. That's for sure. And it's, and it's I saw it at Recovery Walk, Phil. I yeah. saw it. I saw how Anastasia, Jillian, and all that crew was so tight. And I said, man, if they got tight like this in recovery, and I saw how they were so tight, and I said, hmm, yeah, hey, there's something going on with these girls. <laughs> I said, they're, they're tight. And really, I saw that. And I said, man, you know what? And and it's just, it's just loving on them. Right. You know? It's just loving on them and let them see that in them. And really, really empowering them, and really, really, and let them let them know, you know, I got you. I'm behind your back. I got you 100. You know, I know you're gonna fall down, but I'm gonna pick you back up, and we're gonna keep on moving. And and you know, something is 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 being there when they're going through a trying time. Right. You know, I had one call me last Saturday. They was upset. They missed the color line, and they were oh, they were upset. And I said, look. Yeah. <laughs> I had look, that same now. conversation. Look now. I said, hey, you're doing good. All right. Don't change your routine. I know you want to sleep in on Saturday, but you got to stick to the plan. <laughs> and it's okay. And you're doing good. I haven't hey. I haven't let them know you're doing good. And, and we and made her we made her so mad because I said almost identically to, to what you said. And I didn't even know that you talked to her. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then too, man, is really in in and that's what it's about. It's just empowering them. You yeah, know? absolutely. Everyone consi every consistently. Yes, and and that, that and positive that positive reinforcement right. goes and, so far. And we always gonna we all gonna have bad days. We all gonna have when things not gonna go our, our, our way, you know. And and that's Long as you in this, long as you breathe, and long as you're on this earth, you know, I will always say it's not gonna be sunny every day. It's gonna be some clouds. Somebody's gonna try you, somebody's gonna gonna test you. But what you do in that moment is up to you. Right. That's you know, and and, and you gotta understand that. And I and 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 I want to leave this with you. Would you rather I'd rather lose a battle than to lose the war? I'd rather lose that battle than to lose the war. And that's what recovery is. It's a long-term thing. I'm, I know I'm not going to win every day, you know, right. but my sights is on long-term and I'm not going to lose this war, you know? So, you know, I don't know what tomorrow may bring. Tomorrow right. I may get up the car, may not even start. <laughs> the battery may be dead, but look, <laughs> hey, there's always Uber. <laughs> I will yeah. get to where oh. I got to go. And, yep. and just let it roll and just let it go, you know, or, one of our, or somebody. One of our peers said tonight, my worst day in recovery is still a thousand times greater than my worst day in my addiction. Mm. That's, and, I, that's, and I thought that was such a, such a good way to look at it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like compared to the stuff we put ourselves through in the past, these bad days that we're having now in recovery, boy, they ain't they it ain't nothing that compares to what we've put ourselves through. Yeah. Nothing. And then two is I want I want all our peers that's looking in, that's that's listening, looking at us. I want you to get to a point in your life and where I'm at in my life right now is and you and, and you come in my office and you see on my office I got yellow stickies all over my in my screen and and it's just so motivation coming all out that out that office all on my walls no my motivation but I got one thing that I, I look at every day and it is life is happening life is happening for me not to me mm -hmm. and I want you really and as long as you do recovery life is going to be happening for you not to you there's a difference. And I want you to ponder on that. And when I mean life is happening for you is you, you are you walking through this journey, you walking through life and things are just happening. Things just popping up. Good things. You know, um, I have problems. The problems don't have problems don't got me. 
Mm -hmm. you know, there's a difference. There's a difference. Yeah, I got to pay my bills. Yeah, I got to do this. Yeah, I got to do that. But it's a different. They're not calling me. Right. <laughs> they, they ain't calling me. I pay on my terms. Right. I, right. Pay, I pay on my terms. Sometimes I pay a little bit early, but I pay on my terms. And recovery allowed me to do that. And I want everyone to get that, get that chance. Give it time. Give it time. It's going to happen. Life is going to happen for you. Right. If you hold on, I really, really, really hold on. And really, really, when life is throwing that curveball at you, reach out and touch someone. Let someone know. And if someone is telling you different, no, stick to your guns. Good things are going to happen to you. Good things are going to happen for you. All right. And there, there's a difference. It's going to, and you're going to, and when it happens, you're going to not, you're going to, you're not going to notice it. You're just going to say, oh man, <laughs> yeah, I got this. It, it's yeah. going to be an aha moment to you. And, 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 and for so long, I looked, I looked at people that had long-term recovery and I, and I had to wonder, how did you get there? And by this conversation that we're having, we're, we're telling you blueprint and we're telling you things that's going to happen to you. And for so long, I had to look at people and I had to wonder how you got 30 years, what you're right. doing. And it wasn't telling me. And I don't want to ever do that. I want to, I want you to know, I want you to understand, you know, that hold on a little bit longer. Yeah. Give it a try. And you know, what's funny is that what you were saying is, and it just made me think about this because we're, let's face it, even though we are handsome, uh, <laughs> And, and in extremely intelligent, we're kind of older, right? We still write on, we still write notes on sticky notes, right? Yes. <laughs> Most people don't know what sticky notes really are, right? If they can't snap it, Insta it, Facebook it, uh, Twitter it, you know what I mean? They don't know what's going, they don't know what to do. <laughs> so here's the funny thing about that, right? You want to talk about daily affirmations and positivity? Mm -hmm. Go on your Google account. And just type in something po like a positive quote or something, right? That you're dealing with. And I guarantee you, when you go back to open your Facebook page, mm -hmm. you'll have nothing but positivity quotes as ads and all sorts of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So then this is because this is now my Facebook feed, right? right. And it's coming from peers, but then I have all these, you know, other positive memes i guess is what they're called and it's my facebook feed is loaded with them right right and so not only do i have all of my people a lot of people in my support group are sharing them but they're just popping up on my feed because that's what i'm looking at right, right. i'm not looking at like shady things on google right i'm not looking up dumb stuff on google uh that's the new age, right? So you don't, don't have to write, you know, um, if you don't want to just Google positive quotes. And I guarantee they're going to pop up on your Facebook feed, on your Instagram feed, because that's how they, that, you know, that's how they do it. Like you look up, go ahead and do a Google search for uh, the best place for fat, for flowers for Monday for somebody. And I guarantee you, you open Facebook and it's going to be FTD and books, right. and like nothing but all these ads. Right. So do that for positivity. And that's what will show up in, in all your social media. Just a little mm -hmm. new age thing that I've caught on to. OK, we got a couple more comments before we close out. And and man, time flies when you're having fun. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So Chantel says you guys are awesome and she's proud to be walking beside you all in the trenches. Mm. Um, Melissa says keep sowing the seeds of love coach. Hi, Melissa. And um, Chantel also says, in recovery, we learn how to stop just surviving our life and begin living it. Living it. There we go. Yeah. I want to. I want to end on that. Absolutely. There's a level in your recovery where you understand that it ain't you ain't surviving no more. You're living. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> you're living. You're not you're maintaining. Living. You're you're right. actually doing it. Yeah. Right. You actually doing it. You ain't it ain't it ain't no more that man you out there trying to trying to trying to duck and hide and and, and and trying to make things happen. You are man, you really just sitting in this thing. You just man. It's just like being in a Maserati. Yeah. <laughs> you said yeah. right. Whatever you want. <laughs> wherever you wherever you want. Escalade, wherever you wherever you want, you just yeah. ride it. Yeah. And it's gonna happen for you. 
Jeff says, yeah. don't let life pass you by. Life is happening when we're making other plans. Right. And Ryan yeah, Roby just joined us. <laughs> right. And I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a smart lady, a very smart lady sit down and, and told me this. Okay. And nah, it, it was my mom. Okay. Right. Your mom is smarter. <laughs> it was my mom. And, and she sat down with me and she was holding my hand and she brought me back to when I was a little boy. She was holding my hand. And she said in her soft voice, she said, son, you got to want to live. Mm-hmm. She said, you got to want to live. Okay. And I ain't going to cry. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, you know. But, it's okay to cry. Let it out. But but when she said that, really, mm-hmm. I took heed and I said, man, I got to want to live. Yeah. And, you know, you have to understand that recovery you're living. Mm-hmm. How, and what I always say is, how are you to find success? Please, you know, learn that. You know, your success yep. is different from everybody else. Stop trying to mimic your success of somebody else. Yep. You picture where you want to go. You picture how you, what you want. You picture what, how you want, how you're going to get it. And then, man, and live your life. Live yep. your life to the best of your ability. And then everything that's attached to you, you know, they're going to hone on in that. And they're going right. to ride with you. And then you're going to, man, and, and next thing you know, it's going to be like, wow. <laughs> yeah, be like absolutely. it's gonna scare you it's gonna scare you but it's gonna be a good scare it's gonna be a good fear and um a lot of people are really really getting to that point and i see it i see it i see it in your life and i see it i see it in a daily day and i see it how you're growing and that's the difference is you know something is um i, I don't take this for granted i'm sitting with your shotgun <laughs> i'm riding yeah. with you yeah and i I'm see a good it. war with you and, you know, I'm so grateful for you allow me to be in your life like that. And I don't take it for granted. I really don't. Um, and, but, you know, I hope you got something out this live tonight. Um, you know, we're fired up. We're going to stay fired up. Um, I'm lost for words. Uh, this was a very, very impactful well, live. This was, this was. You're never at a loss for words. This <laughs> was. Not at a loss for words. I'm this say, was. I don't know who you're fooling. You ain't a loss for words either. This was, but nah. This was. This was last week. We set the foundation. Right. This week. This week. I want to love on you. I really, really yeah. want to love on you this week. Next week, we're gonna get back in. We're gonna go live. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go fired up. We go. We're gonna go step it up another notch. You so, know what? We should end it on tonight. What's that? In the words of the great Missy Elliott, if it's worth it, you got to work it. Yes. <laughs> if it's worth it, you got to work it. And, yeah, we and, don't, and we look, don't work. look, so you got to, so you got to understand, you got to, that's that conversation you got to have with yourself. Is it worth it? I can tell you mine is worth it. Every last bit of it. Mine and, too. and you know, Everybody something today, on here is worth it. Today. I'm going to end like this today. I, I didn't have to pick a bottle up. I had to put something. I ain't had to put a straw on my nose. I ain't had to put a blood in my mouth. Nope. And I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. And I'm going to go to bed <laughs> yeah. feeling that way. And get I'm a good night's morning. sleep. I'm going to get a good night's sleep. And I'm going to get in the morning. I'm going to hit it again. Yep. And I don't put it down. I don't turn it off. Okay. Don't you turn yours off. Keep it on. All right. So look. Hey, drop a comment. Hey, I see you out there. Philip, see you. Hey, yep. look, we're proud of you. Fired up for recovery. Episode two. Uh, in the book. Like I said, like I said, we get some shirts made. I want I want this to be out and about. I want you to put it on. I want you to wear this. I want you to know I got my old Cali recovery fest shirt on. You know, hey, that's, that's where it's at, you know. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to wear my recovery walk shirt. Tomorrow, okay. Okay. Um, so look, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all joining in. I don't have nothing else. Phil, you got anything else before we oh, close up, oh, brother? Yeah, hold on. Look, you hey, hold on. Come here, Philip. Come here, show him your shirt. You see it. Okay. Okay. A recovery it. walk. Recovery is that. possible. Or the school yeah. today. All right. A recovery is possible. You know, tell somebody. <laughs> tell somebody it is, you know. All right. Tell somebody is hashtag this fired up for recovery. Hashtag it out. You know. A recovery is possible. Um, hey, thank y'all for joining in. I uh, really appreciate y'all. And, you know, another episode in the books. In the books. So Fired up. watch it, share it, retreat it, whatever you want to do.
let it out. Let people know. Thank you all for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And thanks for all the questions, too. Um, and if you have any ideas for topics that y'all might want us to talk about, too, uh, don't don't reach out to us. Let us know what you want to hear us talking about. Yeah. All right. So hey, I have a good night. See you. All right, Friday. buddy. All I'll right, see man. you tomorrow. Appreciate you, brother. Yes, All sir. Right. Bye. See ya.